What's going on everyone? Today we have another night review. Today it is a 2023 Lexus RX 350F Sport handling. And in this night review, we're gonna take a look at these exterior lights, the premium triple beams, the new interior ambient lighting, and get it out on the road for a test drive. Let's get started. All right, y'all, this is not a smoke show. This is some fog that we're dealing with this week. So please keep that in mind. But let's take a look at the exterior details. Be sure to check out the full daytime review if you wanna see that but we have the optional triple beam LED headlights. You can see the three different beams, the LED daytime running light. LED headlights are standard, but these triple beams are optional. The LED fog lights down there are standard on every trim though. This 2023 RX is totally redesigned. As you can see, it still looks very similar, but you've got a new grill, new everything for the most part. We've got an LED turn signal right here, but a very similar uh, headlight design and one cool thing is we have a cornering function so since I have the light turned or the signal turned next to the fog light we have a cornering light so it lights up next to the vehicle this is the Grecian water color and look at these turn signals here you've got the marker lights the front and the back amber turn signals all over and the 21 inch wheels paired with the dark accents on this F Sport handling package the most distinctive feature at night with this new RX is this connecting light bar they call it the blade LED tail light. So you have the same L theme design that you usually get with Lexus, but now they've got this connecting tail light, the amber turn signal there. What do you think of the way this looks? And let's look at the brake and reverse lights. Now, as we open that up, LED license plate lights, and I have a Christmas present for my daughter. And we've got a couple of LED lights back here that light this up pretty well, as you can see. So the lights are up there so they can shine down on your luggage, which works just great. This is perfect. And to top it off, Lexus gives us a light right there so it can shine down onto your luggage as well. Great job by Lexus with this. Moving to the back, Lexus even gives us a puddle lamp back here. There's even a little bit of ambient lighting in the door right there. And you've got a couple of backlit illuminated USB charging ports, as well as your own climate controls back here. We have a panoramic roof overhead, so the lights are not there. The lights are in the back and they're pretty bright, but they don't shine a whole lot in terms of lighting this area up, but it'll work good for you know, snacking or reading or something like that. And as you unlock the vehicle, you can see with the mirror flash, you've got these illuminated door handles. This is pretty typical Lexus. Just another nice touch. We don't have the emblem on the ground, but that's available as an accessory. And as we can take a look inside, you get a little bit of ambient lighting over here. We've got nice materials throughout this cabin in this F-Sport handling. It's not even the most luxurious model. And these F-Sport seats right here are really large and big bolstered. But let's go ahead and dive in and look at everything there is. Now as we hop inside, foot on the brake, push button start right up there. Headlights do a little dance. I'll show you those more in a little bit. Nice little Lexus branding coming across right here, even up on the head-up display. Now, on the inside, things are a lot different than they were in the older RX model. So you can see the ambient lighting color on the door here. We'll go through that in a little bit. All of our buttons and switches are illuminated, so you've got nice illumination there. Same thing next to here. Your light controls are on the end of your stock, including the fog light control. But nice materials all throughout here. Illumination down at our feet, and then some nice soft illumination on the steering wheel. It's kind of this gentle white backlighting. I do have some nitpicks with the steering wheel controls, but be sure to check out the full review for that. To control the interior button brightness, you've got to use these next to the odometer trip to go up or down with the brightness. So that'll make so that will adjust that display back there, as well as the actual buttons, like the steering wheel buttons and the buttons down there as well. So just depends if you want a light or dark mood. It's up to you. Then Lexus gives us a seven inch digital display. You can kind of see the outline of it right there analog stuff on the sides. This isn't really all that customizable. There's a few different views you can have, but nothing that extravagant. I go through more detail in the full review and same thing up here, head up display. This is a nice head up display. It shows a good amount of information on there and it works well while you're driving. Plus it even alerts you of crossing traffic in front and behind. Coming over, we've got this extra large 14 inch display. So this is an option, otherwise it's a nine inch screen. Wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. And since we're here to talk about the lighting, let's go ahead and jump into that. So go to the settings button right there. And then first of all, let's look at the display brightness. Hit uh, display. Then over here, you can have it automatically become, go between daytime and nighttime with the theme. 
and then you can adjust the brightness with that. So I haven't had a tr any problem with this display brightness. Some screens are just too bright for me. I just wish I could turn them down at night, but this one works well. And then let's go back, let's go to vehicle customize, go to lights, your exterior lighting stuff right there and then illumination this is new with lexus here let's go ahead and check it out it's the ambient lighting you get this thematic ambient lighting so you've got different themes and you, they're basically different colors so like daylight white you're gonna have just some white lighting it's like so white it almost kind of looks purpley on here and you've got warm white you've got sunset bamboo rainforest let's go with a rainforesty thing kind of like a, a light green color it looks nice. There's ambient lighting at the footwells, up top, on the doors, on both sides, and in the back seat as well. And I love that Lexus gave us this option to have these different colors instead of just a very gentle little glow here and there, but I like it a lot. The only thing is we're in park right now. As soon as we go into drive, watch it dim. It went dim. So the camera is making it brighter than what it actually is. Okay, I kind of dimmed it down a little bit, so it's a little bit more realistic. Now let me go back to park, brightens things up, and then go to drive. Just for example, things dim. And it gets pretty darn dim all over the place. You don't have any control of that uh, or any way to override that. You can, when you're in park, if you want to, you can adjust the brightness by different zones, like the front seats, the back seats, or your footwells or you can have the brightness collectively just be whatever it is that you want. You can completely turn it off too, if you want to. The screen also gives us the panoramic view. It works pretty well, even at night. I'm in a, you know, it's foggy out right now and it's not a ton of lighting around me, but still decent lighting right here. Going down, we have some illuminated USB ports. You've got four different ones and we've got a light shining down on our wireless charging mat and a storage area right there. Plus there's another little storage area up above all of this. Now there's a gentle little glow right here. You can see this aluminum type trim right here in the lighting coming from up above. That actually comes from the mirror and I like that. You can see the little light right up under there. So I cover it up, let it shine, cover it up, let it shine. Just a nice little gentle glow. A lot of times it comes from up here where you can actually see it, but I like having it from the mirror where you don't see it with your eyes at all. And then let's see how much lighting we have here. I kind of have stuff, um, piled up in there, but you do have a light shining down in your center armrest. Then in the glove box, you've got a light in there too. The digital rear view mirror is an optional feature. And then looking overhead, we have LED lighting in here. You can individually touch each side for the light like that. You have to be a little more specific than I think you should. Or you can touch uh, the further light. So you've got kind of four different lights up here. And if you touch those, it will turn on all the lights, including the back lights. And when those are on, it's actually fairly bright. It's not obnoxiously bright. Like this doesn't just blast you in the face. It actually is a, a pretty pleasant light. And typical Lexus, open up your visor and you've got a vanity light. All right, let's go ahead and start it up. So we have the triple beam headlights. You've got the adaptive up and down auto leveling, but they are not adaptive side to side. You'll see that when we get out on the road. I apologize for the rain. I've had to stop, come back. The only days I've been able to do this is either heavy fog or rain but the low beam pattern looks very good right here nice and bright and the high beam is nice and bright and really wide as well one thing to note is that cutoff line so it's a great cutoff line but there's actually more light above the cutoff line than you'll typically see in any other vehicle i usually drive so i don't know if that's a glare or what that is and then if we turn the fog lights on you get a little bit of peripheral over there plus in addition to the fog lights, if you turn your signal on, you've got cornering lights. Those cornering lights work great illuminating next to the vehicle. And it's not the fog light, it's in addition to that. This is with the triple beam premium headlights, which are an extra option. And at the time of this video, there's no IIHS safety rating, so I can't give you a number or a detail on that. All right, now taking a look at a distance here. So just the low beams are on right now. And it does reach out pretty far. You can see that typical fire hydrant and post. Those have some lights on them. The bottom of the hill has some lights. And a little bit on that side, if we turn the high beams on, boom. Those high beams are fantastic. Nice and bright and wide. 
And even on the side of the building over there, I mean, you have some extra light. If I turn the fog lights on, you can see the extra little bit of light that shows up on the building. And then the high beams, even that too. So these look really good. Let's get them out on the road. All right, y'all, we are now behind the wheel of this Lexus RX. And one thing I really like is the cornering light. Now, even without using your blinker, just turning the wheel, you're gonna get that illumination right next to the vehicle. Now, I apologize again that it is raining. It was either heavy fog or rain for the chances I have. I'm at 12.30 a.m. right now, just trying to get this in. So I apologize, it's not gonna be quite as clear as most of my night videos, but we'll talk about what we can and see what we can do. We're gonna test out the automatic high beams, test out the uh, how well they do in the dark. Now the automatic high beams turned on and then they just turned back off. We've got crossing traffic there and once you get below a certain speed, they'll turn off. But they've been very responsive with this. I'm not sure if they're improved for the Lexus Safety System 3.0, but they've done a very good job. Now this RX350 has a new turbo, a 2.4 liter turbo from the Lexus NX. It's got less horsepower than the V6, but more torque. And you can feel that, it's notable, it's punchy at low speeds, but it's definitely not a burner. There are better, faster, and more efficient options for the RX though. Be sure to check out the full review. Now a quick note before we get on some dark roads, the driver's side mirror is automatic dimming. The passenger side is not, but that is also very nice over here. And then you got an automatic dimming rear view mirror or the mirror camera as an option like that. I personally like the mirror camera. There's also a head up display in front of us that gives us a lot of good information. It's crystal clear. And the overall ambiance in here is nice. I like the new ambient lighting in here, the different colors and themes, even though it does dim when you go into drive. So just a quick note, even though you probably can't tell, we have overhead lighting, automatic high beams are on, and that car just came around the corner, the high beams shut off. In order to activate the automatic function of the high beams, there's a little button you press at the end of your left stock that turns that off or on. And that's really quick and easy, and I really appreciate that. All right, y'all, we're about to get on a dark road here. And aside from the rain making things difficult to see, we kind of have a full moon peeking through these clouds. So it's a little bit better ambient lighting than you'd think, and it's just kind of hard to tell what things actually look like. The high beams are on, looks very good. I'm gonna turn those off and see just how high these low beams can go. So I can see into that corner now, I can see the reflectors. The, the light is higher than what the actual cutoff line is. So looking out into the distance, it's not just like a black hole above the headlight line. You can actually see the reflectors, which is really nice. Going around this corner, it's so hard to tell because of the rain and uh, the wet roads. But that looked pretty good. I'm going to turn the high beams on now or the automatic function. The high beam beam pattern is so wide. It is just so wide and so high. I can see reflectors way up there. So even though I can't see the road all that well because of the rain, I can see the street reflectors very well. Now the low beams, I can still see fairly well. And I hope you guys can get a decent look at this. Because these, I think that these triple beams are better than the previous gen RX. I don't know if they did anything different to them, but they seem to be doing a pretty good job, even though they're not adaptive side to side. I'm gonna turn the high beams back on, automatic function. And the automatic function has been spot on. It's been killer. It just shut off because of that bright light it's gonna turn back on, there it goes. Nice and bright, that looks great. Now I'm gonna turn them off. The fog lights are off right now. Let me turn them on, off, on, off. And you can't tell that well just because of the rain and this weather, but the periphery is good. I mean, you can see into the ditch well, even without the fog lights, the beam pattern is nice and solid and bright over off into the edges and your immediate cornering light is great thanks to that cornering function next to the fog light. Now we're on a skinny little back road and wait for the automatic high beam function to turn on. There it goes. Once you get up to about 30, nice and bright. I'm very happy with these high beams. The high beam lights in some of these newer cars are very good. The low beams are designed to prevent blinding people and these high beams just let it all out. 
Okay, so we're at my tight little cornering area where some vehicles, the beam pattern is so narrow that you can't see anything to your sides. If you're taking corners on dark roads, it's a nightmare. On this one already, I can see fairly well off to the left. And as soon as I start to turn, I get illumination right next to the vehicle, but the actual headlights are wide enough that you don't really have a blind turn. Very nice job. That looks great. And can you see that Christmas tree up above on that water tower? Anyways, I hope y'all enjoyed this night review. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think of the ambiance and the new everything in this Lexus RX. Be sure to check out the full review coming soon in the description. And have a great night.